Next, we got this clip courtesy of um, the CEO podcast, I think, featuring Tim Dillon. It's a really funny one where Tim Dillon has a very interesting description of influencers. Let me play this for you. Seems like, and again, not to be overly dramatic about it, but it, people are looking at it like an apocalyptic event because there are jobs that when we look at how profoundly AI is going to impact the business that just simply won't exist. Um, you know, we have AI influencers now that are actually, because we've bred in this country some of the least interesting people on the planet and some of the most interesting, but some of the least interesting people, the most generic people are making millions and millions of dollars, essentially just hawking products on the internet. That's so all they do. They go, someone asked me about my skincare routine and I thought I would share <laughs> something with you guys. I'd share a promo code with you guys because a lot of people come up to me and they go, your skin is really glistening. It looks really good. So I'm really excited to share this promo. And, and so those people don't need to exist. In fact, they really don't. They don't exist as human beings. So they need to be just replaced by a pixelated version of that, an AI version of that. There's apps, now going from Robert De Niro to AI, that's gonna be a thing. Going from, you know, uh, uh, Tina Turner to AI, that's a big deal. Going from these people, these generic barcodes with feet, these promo codes, going from them to AI <laughs> is going to be literally unnoticeable. And he's right. He's right. And it's unfortunate because I've always said that the influencer scene, culture, industry is not what it should be. Because the very, you know, when I remember influencers becoming a thing or when I first got into streetwear, influencers were basically, you know, consumers. They were addicts. They were shopping addicts. They were guys and girls that love just buying new shit experimenting with a new brand checking out this new place to go and vacationing you know booking to stay at this brand new hotel whatever they just try shit off their own back with their own money and then brand would recognize them trying shit and then reach out or they'd get fucking sponsored to go and check something out and be invited hey come and see our new thing whatever it may be but it was mostly people doing it out of the love out of love for the game Nowadays, that's not a thing. Nowadays, people only influence things that people give them for free or pay them to fucking influence and promote and market, which doesn't really seem like influencing. It just seems like regular old marketing to me, right? Regular old advertising, regular old endorsements. But they try to spin it like it's marketing, like it's influencing, like it's coming from them. Like, oh, I love these jeans, which you'd never heard of yesterday. I love these shoes, which you'd never heard until today. That's what I don't like about the influencer scene. It's become way too commodified right it's become way too commercial the fun of like exploring and finding cool interesting things that you want to share with your audience has completely gone now because everybody's thinking about it with a monetary gain at the end of it that's all they're thinking they're not thinking about it about hey let's try and get you know more of these in, more of these stuff in people's in front of people's eyes let's expose this brand Let's highlight this stuff, people. Let's highlight this service. It needs more eyes, attention to it. Nah, it's all about the fucking clout online. And obviously, you know, having your name be noteworthy. But I would love it if the if the kind of resurgence of AI actually spearheaded a change and we went back to the old school way of how influencers were, where influencers were influencing people via their own, you know, buying habits and decisions and shit. And it wasn't because they got sponsored by hashtag yoga company. You know what I mean? That's what I would love to see happening in the future. Would it would it happen? Probably unlikely because these guys would make way too much money being the fake, oh, I've always loved this product, use my promo code type of thing. It's just too much easy money not to kind of take it. So most likely the incentive isn't there. But I think it's no surprise that companies now are, you know, refusing to work with those type of big level, you know, influencers. And they're preferring to work with the quote unquote micro ones because they're quote unquote easy to handle and they understand the job. I mean, they understand what needs to be done and the other ones usually don't. But hey, what do I know when it comes to this stuff? I really like, you know, his just description of fucking influencers in general saying they are walking, what did they're barcodes at feet? That's an amazing line. Influencers nowadays are barcodes with feet. That to me was a freaking, freaking amazing line.